On Saturday morning, hundreds of Belizeans lined the George Price Highway to witness the 92nd annual Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Classic. The race began at 6 a.m. sharp at Digi Park in Belize City, where 77 cyclists took off for the grueling 140-mile journey. By 8.45 in record time, the first set of five cyclists, which included foreigners Hassani Hennis, John DeLong, Belizeans Sean Codd, Marlon Castillo, and Byron Pope, arrived at the Hawksworth Bridge in San Ignacio Town. However, on the way back to Belize City, that group of five became four when Sean Codd was left behind just outside of Belmopan. Up until my five, Belizeans still had hope of keeping the garland at home. Until... Belizean cyclists Marlon Castillo and Baron Pope were left behind by their foreign contenders. That, according to Castillo, who placed fourth, was due to not working together. I think with our first Belizean prize to everybody, I think if Byron will come wrong and help me, we come. The first time they, they attacked me by Hattieville, I do all the work and, and bring, bring Byron to sit down on my wheel back to the foreign nade. And the next time they went by around just sit down and like he already worried about the first belief. I tell her if the, the foreigner can work, why we can't work and do the same thing we're doing. While Castillo and Pope watched the garland slip from their grasp, the foreigners continued to ride neck to neck. It was until a few feet away from the finish line that Angolian national Hassani Hennis unleashed a sprint of fury and was able to beat American John DeLong for first place. So it was a wonderful experience, long race. Tough race, hot, and yeah, I did it. Your impressions of the course and of the competition here, what do you think about that? Well, it was a tough competition with all the Belizeans and the Guatemalans and the American. And yeah, it played out very well for me. I know I could have do it because I raced way longer than this, which was um, 268 kilometers. And I know what I had to do, just eat and drink and sustain my power. Hennis completed the race in 5 hours, 50 minutes and 26 seconds and says the last 10 miles were the most challenging leg of the event. Last 10 miles, the time started coming down and I started to panic a bit and stamp on the gas. And I uh, get, got a flyer from John Dillon and that kind of hurt me a bit. But I caught up and realized what he was trying to do. And I just walked the tactics from there, which is make them ride. And he, I know he would attack again. And the two, the two guys got dropped. And all they had to do is just stay close to him. Second place winner John DeLong says he forgot where the finish line was. And by the time he noticed Hennis had taken off, it was too late. I started fighting with the guys earlier, but, uh, but that wind was so strong, I kept on waiting. And then I had a mistake at the end. Uh, I knew I had to jump before I saw the finish, but I didn't. <laughs> you know, it's hard to recognize things after 140 miles. You know, it's like, yeah, I came and looked at it yesterday, and I said, I'm okay, I know. But, uh, and I turned, and I saw the finish, and I knew, uh, uh -oh. <laughs> this, this guy's got to be quick. The first Belizean to cross the finish line was Byron Pope, who placed third. Pope was followed by Marlon Castillo, who placed fourth. And rounding off the top five was the former cross-country champion, Guatemalan national Julio Padilla. Reporting for Love News, I am Vigie Alvarez.